there because uh, we believe this is the motorcade arriving at Balmoral with Liz Truss uh, and her uh, team, uh, having uh, made that uh, journey from Aberdeen Airport where uh, the uh, Dassault uh, private jet landed a little earlier. Our correspondent Cameron is there. Cameron, uh, that was a pretty swift uh, entrance by her. It was a very swift entrance indeed, Mark. Yes, Liz Truss, not quite sure he was in the car with her if her husband was uh, accompanying her. But Liz Truss, the new Conservative leader, has now uh, arrived in the grounds of Balmoral Castle and will be invited formally by the Queen to form a government in her name and therefore become the Queen's 15th Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It's one of the few remaining personal prerogatives uh, of the Queen to appoint her new Prime Minister, which means she doesn't really need to consult uh, or act on uh, advice of anybody. The requirements is commanding the competence of the House of Commons, which usually means the leader of the political party with the most seats in the House of Commons. So Liz Truss ticks all of those boxes uh, and uh, it is usually then what is known as the kissing of the hands during this meeting in the drawing room that's going to be taking place in Balmoral. It won't be a physical kissing of the hands, it's more likely to be a curtsy uh, and a handshake. The kissing of the hands perhaps will happen at a Privy Council meeting at a later date. But this is the first time that Her Majesty the Queen has appointed a new Prime Minister at Balmoral Castle. It usually happens at Buckingham Palace. But the decision was taken last week that it would happen uh, at Balmoral Castle to uh, provide certainty for the Prime Minister's diary. We know Her Majesty has been experiencing uh, mobility problems in recent months and over the last year or so uh, and th this means that in, if she had decided to make the 1,000 mile round trip from Balmoral to London and then woke up this morning and felt that she could no not make the journey, then last minute travel arrangements would need to be made for Boris Johnson, the outgoing Prime Minister, and Liz Truss, the incoming Prime Minister. So that's why we believe the decision was taken uh, last week. Uh, and there's no kind of constitutional reason as to why uh, the Queen cannot appoint a new Prime Minister at Balmoral Castle. Her great-grandfather uh, Edward VII actually appointed one of his Prime Ministers in France because he didn't want to interrupt his holiday uh, but this inevitably raises questions about Her Majesty the Queen's health and ability uh, to move and travel as of course she is 96 years old.